Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel, and welcome back to a very special message that I have for each and every one of you, my viewers, my friends. Thank you all so much for welcoming me back to the YouTube community after such a long uh, hiatus from last year to this year. Very much appreciative that so many of you stuck around and welcome me back and are watching my content even though it may not be the very best out there uh, you're joining me to have fun as I trudge along with my virtual farming here on Elm Creek or other other wonderful maps many years ago when I first started my YouTube channel um, I used to do these holiday greeting videos and I want to keep this very short because I know that you have uh, family and friends and uh, your own children and such that you want to celebrate Christmas with and I want you to, to do that. I had read a message um, and it was, I don't know where I got this, but it was basically uh, in the theme of Twas the Night Before Christmas, but it's uh, based on uh, farm. And so I want to read that to you again and again just wish you all a very Merry Christmas. "'Twas the night before Christmas down on the farm. Not a critter was budging, no cause for alarm. Cattle were resting, snug in their stalls, while hay forks and rakes were propped near the walls. Little mice skittered across cobweb-draped beams, spoiling old tomcats' mouse-chasing dreams. I stretched out on a straw bells, my eyes shut tight, for Bessie would calve this Christmas Eve night. When out in the field I heard someone sputter, I sprang from the bells amidst all the clutter. Curious now, to the window I sprinted, the glow on the snow was so bright that I squinted. The moon shone on mounds of fluffy white snow. It glistened, but I could see well enough. When what to my dog-tired eyes could be seen, but a small wooden sleigh and eight sturdy Holstein. With a little old farmer so bubbly and quick, I knew in the moment it must be St. Nick. Headlong, these eight airborne heifers they came, Nick clicked and he chorted and called them by name. Now Bossy, now Sassy, now Francie and Ellie, on Bluebell, on Arabelle, on Connie and Nellie. To the top of the silo, to the stop, to the top of the mow, come boss, come boss, come boss, come cow. Up to the hay mow those bossies they flew, with a load of fresh hay and St. Nicholas too. And then in a jiffy I heard on the roof the stomping and plodding of each heavy hoof. As I hid behind the bells I jerked with a jump. Through the hay mow St. Nicholas came with a thump. He was decked out in denim from his head to his boots, and his plaid shirt was flannel, the stylish old coot, some, similar to what I wear. Feed sacks of grain he had slung on his back, and he looked like a hawker just opening his pack. His eyes, how they sparkled, his chins, how they jiggled. His cheeks were like apples, his nose, how it wiggled. His comical mouth curved up in a smile, as he tromped up and down each wide, dusty aisle. He whistled a tune and hummed its refrain, and filled every manger with silage and grain. Then just when I thought he would pack up and go, I heard a loud moo, and it started to grow. For Bessie was calving, ready to pop. She bawled and she wailed in her pen without stop. She quivered, she shook, she rattled, she moaned, and down, up and down, she mooed, and she groaned. The next thing I knew on the straw lay a calf, a beautiful new black and white spotted calf. Nick knelt in the straw and saw all was well, so he lifted the calf for its mother to smell. Then laying his finger aside of his nose, giving a nod through the hay, mo he rose. And I heard him shout as he flew through the night, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Thank you again, ladies and gentlemen. May God bless you all and keep you safe this Merry Christmas season. 